Hello everyone, it's Claudia here and today I have another layout for you using the BPK Zara kit and um, as my background paper I'm using this beautiful um, triangle paper with a lot of different colors but I wanted to tone it down a little bit so I also cut um, a strip of well it's a pattern paper but it's a pattern paper that I won't use um, and cut it diagonally so I could use the white side of that on my layout and sometimes I do this to kind of save white cardstock because um, I do have a decent amount of white cardstock left but not that much and it's not like I can really afford to buy a whole bunch of cardstock so sometimes if I want to use um, you know a white background or you know just like a white strip of paper on my layout I will just use the back side of um, a single sided pattern paper that I won't use especially um, you know the one that I used for this particular layout because I have two of that pattern and I have the paper that came in the kit so I actually had it three times so I decided to just use that and kind of um, just use the white side of that and tone it down a little bit and as you just saw I was kind of finding some papers to mount my photo on and the photo is just of me making the dreaded should I say um, duck face and this is kind of a silly photo that I took and this was actually on my birthday of this year I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded but of 2015 and um, this was actually my first birthday um, that I wasn't home um, if you don't know I moved to Denmark to live with my boyfriend in January of 2015 and um, before that I've always just lived at home with my mom and my brother and uh, my dad until my parents got divorced but yeah um, 2015 was my first year of being away from my family I did actually um, fly home to my family a few days after my birthday but on my actual birthday I wasn't with them which was kind of weird but um, you know I still had a good day with my boyfriend and his family so it, it was fine and again I'm using most of the uh, embellishments from the um, exclusive digitals that Nay designed and they're just gorgeous especially those florals and I know I said this in my previous video as well um, they're just really gorgeous and I really love the way that she designed them I am also using a few ephemera pieces that came with the um, TSK Ava kit and I thought that this wish die cut was actually kind of perfect for um, my layout because it's it was my birthday so I wanted to do that and again I'm using these tabs just for um, creating some interest and not necessarily for journaling because um, later on you'll see that I will put another die cut actually right now um, the one that says hashtag today um, over it so otherwise I maybe would have put some journaling over it but since I put that today uh, on top of it there's no room for it anymore which is perfectly fine and I'm also adding this orange banner uh, piece to add a little bit more of that color to my layout and um, yeah you know I will honestly admit that I struggled a little bit with this layout because I didn't really know what I wanted to make or where I was going so about halfway through I was kind of you know kind of thinking to myself is this going to um, you know be a complete disaster or am I going to be able to save it and um, you know it's not my favorite layout but I think in the end it came together all right and you know you might have a different opinion <laughs> which is totally fine and I'm also going to put this um, circle die cut that says make and I kind of like kind of make my title almost like kind of make a wish which was even more perfect considering it was my birthday and I wanted to make that um, those lips work on my layout because it kind of fit with the photo but I just didn't have any room for it so I just put it away again and just thought hey maybe I will use it on a different layout and um, the exclusive uh, digitals had some like really lovely circles with some shapes in it or just like plain circles and I love them but I cannot cut a circle for the life of me and I don't have a circle punt so uh, you know the circles that I did use they're not like perfectly cut because I just I'm horrible at cutting uh, circles and at this point I wanted to add some washi because I absolutely love this washi and um, I just think it adds a really nice um, 
you know, point of interest to your page because it's just really pretty. You know, there's just not much more to say about it. It's just gorgeous. And um, yeah, um, let's see what I'm going to do now. I am going to add this, um, it's kind of like a red puppy sticker that says yes, I think. And that small star. And I wanted to make the bird work because it kind of fit my color scheme, but I just felt like it looked out of place, you know, everywhere I put it. So then I just uh, add this puppy sticker that said hello. And I'm also thinking of adding some stickers uh, from the POK Mia kit, but I decide not to. And from these foam figures, I'm just going to add this ampersand because I didn't really need a title. There were a bunch of um, embellishments on the layout that were with words, so I didn't want to add more uh, words to my layout at this point. And here I'm just adding a piece of a branding strip just to create just a little bit of interest at the top. And um, what am I going to do now? Oh, I did actually end up adding one star. <laughs> and all I'm going to do now is add some splatters. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed watching this process video. Um, make sure to check out the kits if you haven't already. And I'll be back with more videos in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.